when you're washing your clothes, you're always wondering what is best. Should I use liquid detergent? Should I use powder or pods? So those are the things we're gonna cover today. Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at Boulevard Home. I am standing inside of our brand new appliance department, so come and check it out if you can. Today we're discussing the pros and cons of each one of these. Based on our research, this is what we found in terms of what are pros and cons of each type. Let's jump into the different types of detergent. We're gonna first start with powder. There's a couple pros of powder detergent. One, it is usually cheaper. Second, powder is also very good for mud or clay because of its high pH levels. Next, powder is also very eco-friendly. Many times you'll see powder in cardboard boxes which have been recycled. Two additional pros of powder detergent are first, you can use it to pre-treat your clothing if you have additional stains and soils that you need pre-treated. Also, depending on how you use the detergent when you pour it or store it, it's not as messy or potentially as sticky or messy as maybe some of the other detergents are. One of the major challenges with powdered detergent is as you use it in your washer, if you put it in the dispenser and you're using a cold wash, that detergent many times can be stuck inside that dispensing tray and it doesn't completely get rinsed out because it gets sticky with that cold water. One tip, if you use powder detergent, you wanna look at what type of washer you're using. Typically with a front load washer, the powder detergent gets rinsed through into the clothes on the right amount during the right cycle time. If you have a top load where you've poured the soap on top of your clothing, if it's not rinsed completely, say you're using the cold water and it's not broken down, the soap's not broken down, you could potentially get stains or spots that show up in your clothing. Now we're gonna go into the pros of liquid detergent. Liquid detergent has a number of pros. First off, it's in liquid form, which means there's more water filler, which means it goes into a washer cleaner, and as you rinse it, it doesn't get stuck as much as maybe some of the other types of detergent are. It is also better at getting out the grease or the oil type stains in your clothing. A couple other pros about this is it's very good for pre-treating clothes because you, you don't have to mix it with anything. And finally, you can use liquid detergent to hand wash your clothes as well. To mention some of the cons about liquid detergent are first off, it's a lot messier. When you pour it into the washer, things can drip, it's sticky, it gets stuff all over, dirt sticks to it. Second, it is not as equal friendly. They're always made out of plastic bottles, so it's not as easy to recycle. And last off, the final con we wanna mention about liquid detergent is it's too easy to over or under uh, approximate the amount, the correct amount of detergent that you need. So one key tip for this is many of the washers now, such as this one, you go in here and they have some smart dispensing options. This allows you so you don't over or under estimate the amount of detergent you need to use. This one, it, you fill up 50 ounces of detergent and it dispenses how much it needs for that specific cycle. So that's one way to get past one of the cons of liquid detergent. Our third option is pods. So what, what are the pros of pods when you're using it to wash your clothes? First off, it's the simplest and lightest way to store your laundry detergent. Also, it's the least messy. They come pre-packaged, you throw them in, and they're less messy. So those are the pros. However, other than that, there's not many pros about the pods. Some of the cons are, is first off, these pods are, are all one size. If you have a small load, many times you're gonna be using too much detergent, which is not great for your clothes. Like any of these options, if you're using too much detergent, there's many negatives that can happen to your clothes as well as the washer itself. Watch our previous video that we've recorded here. Not only on smaller loads can you use too much detergent, if you have a really big load and only use one pod, you have a chance of not having enough detergent. So that's a major negative with the pods. One last negative with pods is they're the most expensive option per load out of any three of these. So there we go as we compare the three options of laundry detergent, the liquid, the powder, and the pods. Hopefully you got some great information about what's gonna work best for you. You take this information and decide how is it best gonna help you in washing your clothes. Here at Boulevard Home, after doing this research, our recommendation typically for most users is the liquid detergent would be the best. However, any one of these options will work. Just make sure you're following the directions, you're measuring the right amounts, 
and it's the best type of detergent for your washer. That's very key. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel below. Ring that bell if you want notifications. No, because look it. This only has 20, and this has 26 loads. This was how much? Okay, eight bucks and five, six bucks. So you're saying if you play baseball and get sand and mud and clay, this is better. But if you need grease and oil, this is better. And this is the best of both worlds. It's a waste of your money, but it's so convenient. Well, you, well, you gotta put in a little cup and then and put some water in. And, well, I, I, I meant to pour it in a little bowl, put some water in, make a little paste. Okay. I can go into all the details. <laughs> But what if I don't want to use hot water because I got brand new red clothing that I don't want to get all over it. <laughs> According to people who are producing this video, I say soap too much. And then if you use too much soap, do you know what the problems are there? Bildu. <laughs> A lot of times Bildu is...